In the previous video, we looked at the general, simple, two-phase example that we did. And we talked about the cases that there will not be any feasible solution for the problem and the cases that we may have more than one uh, artificial variable involved. I'm going to demonstrate that with two simple problem again uh, for you to see. I have selected a two variable problem such that you can visually see that there is no feasible region and the impact of that on the simplex tableau. In this problem I have a maximization, a simple maximization problem with two uh, main constraint and non-negativity constraints. If we plot this problem for the first constraint which is x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equal 10 and x1 and x2 greater than or equal 0 we will end up with a possible feasible region. However, the moment that we add the other one 2x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal 8 to the problem, there will be no feasible region in the first quadrant. In this case, we will follow our guidelines for the two-phase method. We are going to write the problem into the standard form and this is the standard form of the problem. I have subtracted surplus variable from the first one because it was a greater than or equal to and added a slack variable to the second one which was less than or equal to type constraints again we are going to write our phase one problem in this case similar to what we had before we have this problem set up Again, the same thing, we are going to go to the first tableau, this is our first tableau, and again you notice that it is a, it's not a legitimate tableau because under R1, which is a basic variable, I have a value other than zero, therefore I have to do a row manipulation with this operation I will be multiplying R1 row by 1 and adding it up to the Z prime row that will cause this value to become 0 and it will of course make changes in the other parts of the problem. The following tableau is a legitimate tableau it has all the identity matrix elements under R1 and under S2 which are our basic variables. This is a minimization problem again we are going to be looking at the most positive value in here which is under X2 and that is 2. We will be setting up the the mean ratios in this case 10 over 2 and 8 over 3. 8 over 3 is smaller value. So S2 is our leaving variable. X1 enters into the basis and S2 leaves the basis. As we process this tableau and complete the iteration, as we process the tableau and complete the iteration, X2 has replaced S2 and the final tableau, the final resulting tableau after 
operation has been depicted here. As you notice, there is no positive value in the Z prime row. Therefore, optimality condition for this problem has been satisfied and we can't go any further. However, there is a value associated with the R1. So although at the end of phase one, we ended up with an optimal solution for the problem, however, one of the basic variables is R1 and its value is a positive value. This is where you declare the problem infeasible. And as you noticed in the in the other um, graphical part, um, we also had a we also had no um, we had no feasible region associated with this problem. So let's look at another case. Let's look at another case in which we have more than one variable involved. The problem that I have selected for you is a again another two variable problem in which I have four main constraints two of which are less than or equal type constraints and two of them are greater than or equal type constraints. Therefore in here we will be having two. We will be having two artificial variables involved. Again, we are going to write our standard form of the problem, and after having the standard form of the problem, we are going to write the phase one problem. In this case, R1 and R2 are artificial variables and they are added to these two constraints. Again, the same approach that we have taken before. We are going to write the first tableau, which is going to be a not legitimate one because we will have under R1 and R2 in the Z prime row values we are going to multiply the R1 row by 1 and add it to Z prime and we are going to add, multiply R2 row by 1 and add it to the Z prime. You can do that both at the same time or you can do that separately. The resulting tableau, the resulting tableau which is going to be a legitimate tableau, which is going to be a legitimate tableau is presented here. In this tableau, as we see, there is a positive value under x2 so the problem is not optimal. This is phase one problem. It's not optimal. X2 will enter the basis and during regular calculation that we do for each iteration of simplex, we recognize that R1 is the leaving variable. Upon working this problem, we will still find out that the problem is not optimal, x1 will enter the basis and r2 is the leaving variable. And as you notice, as we process this problem, we will end up with a uh, feasible extreme point which has s1, x2, s3, and x1 as its basic variables and we can um, finish the phase one and enter phase two. So having more than one artificial variable is just 
more work but the process is still the same.